guys it's another look you guys already know where we're going we're going back to africa guys you guys have me like researching i started this and i thought it was just a few countries but to my surprise there are a lot of countries in africa where people were stolen from and sold into slavery Yay. if you're new and you're like what's going on why is she doing this, this is almost in the sense of like sorry that you had to go through this sorry you were stolen from your country from your family from your people taken to a new world and sold as a slave beaten up mistreated yeah so this is just me saying to my ancestors sorry for what they did to you guys so for today we are covering the country of equatorial guinea equatorial guinea is the only country in africa that speaks spanish it's their official language guys i lived in africa and i didn't even know there was an african country that spoke spanish this is just blowing my mind i'm gonna get into this you guys already know how it is you guys have been watching this for a while i'm just gonna zip it because you guys know i love to talk and get into the look as you've noticed my one brow is done and the other isn't it's not because i wanted to freak you out it's just the look that i'm using as an inspiration there's something going on on the face and i'm just like i can only do one brow i'm gonna start off with my maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation my formula is the normal to oily and my number is 330 toffee caramel toffee caramel so i've prepped my face i always tell you guys put a base on your face so that there could be a barrier between your foundation and your skin you don't want to break out today i'm not going to be using concealer because it's like what's the point my face is going to be covered like most of it is going to be covered and so, like I said, it's an inspiration. It's not a carbon copy of the picture that I'm seeing. The colors that they use in the picture is gonna to be totally different from the colors that I use, and there's a reason why, but it's still the same concept. For the second step, I am gonna be using my favorite ESB01 by NYX. Guys, by now you guys already know this is, I always say, it's milk in a jar. So if you guys see me <laughs> looking down, I'm just referring to the picture, that's all. to you by style cosmetics this is not being sponsored guys <laughs> i'm just telling you what i'm using i am using their color ws14 look at that puppy right there like look at that color Blend out the orange. Uh, I am going to be using my Luxie brush and this is my tapered blending brush. It is number 229. Going into Black Radiance and this is their press powder. Yes, I said press powder in amber. I am going to be using this to blend out my lids. So we're just going to go in here to the very top and blend. So now this is the part that I'm afraid of, but I'm going to take my time in doing so and I am now going to be adding the dots. <laughs> I feel like this face is so perfect and <laughs> now I have to add the thoughts like my heart's palpitating. So fingers crossed and here we go. Ooh, all right. So before I forget what I did was I used the same cosmetic company but this color is WS18 and it's a green. I don't want to flip it because I don't want it to like mess up everything around me. But anyway, um, and then I mixed it with NYX. So here we go. 
guys, like I really have to come with like cool inventive ways to come up with colors, do like, like the technique of obtaining this look. You guys really have me coming outside myself. So I'm just gonna add that on to the skin. So there it is. Guys, like if I had a black light right now, I'm pretty sure I would glow. So for my lips today, I am gonna be using, this is NYX uh, Butter Lipstick, and it is, let's see here, Sugar Wafer. And then for the other bit, I'm gonna be using 17. This is Stay Pout, and it is Make an Entrance. Make an entrance, think outside the box. Anyway, till next time guys, bye!